Well, the Boruch is, I finally got back here again, spent a little travail getting over here to, to, to the Shear. This is a Chabura Shear. This is a Chabura Shear. I don't know the material necessarily. I have been here, I see, in, 19, in 2015 I was here in this area, but my learning now is a lot better. I finished the Yitzchayim. I went to different things with, with the Chabrusa, and it's been a lot, a lot of really nice, wonderful things, and so hopefully I'll do a better job. So he said, So he had mentioned previously in the introduction to where we're at right now that he had a, this is going to be a very long drasha here. <clears throat> so it starts like this, and um, I'm very excited to hear what he thinks is, I need to know, this is Rabbi Chaim Vital writing down the words of the Uriya Kodesh. Da, ki ha was nuk so one of the main things that we have to know in Kabbalah is we have to either take notes or maybe I'll, I'll put it out. Uh, maybe I'll write them down little by little. Here's one of them. The Nukta is also known as Malchus. So there are multiple names depending on the relationships. Everything is relative, as Albert Einstein said. Yechba es spheros. So he said the Nukta has ten spheros. Ubalaylo, and at nighttime, which is the time when the outside forces had their greatest power. He miss Ma'atis, she becomes very, very small. She limits herself down. the Bria, and she goes down below out of its silas, out of Kedusha, into Bria where we live in an extension of Bria called the Sia. She goes there. Now we talked about this. He says it's called in an area called Shrivas Alilo. He says it's going to be later on in Drush Alilo. But at any rate, so now the, in other words, the Shark of Onus is like really one long uh, set of Kabanos. But of course, we have it in different books because it's a lot. But Indian who keeps Shrivas a Kasser Sher Ba Ba. So the Kasser that is of a Nook. He built Vadnisha Eris the Mala. It's the only part of the nook that remains in its seals. Tomid Baola Matsilos. It's always there in Ola Matsilos. Now all of this, he says, Kamavur it's Lainu. This has been explained to us in regards to the the Indian is the fillin. The tefillin shall yad. And in the morning shir in the in the drushos, so the morning drushos, we're going to be getting to the to the tefillin, to the to the secrets of tefillin. Tefillin. Shall Yad Ma in Yano Vain Sham, what's it all about? And gotta look over there. But the all of the of Kasser, it says the fact is like this. We always think that Spheres of Kasser, Shaban Nisha Eris Batsilas, that we had said that in regards to Mahuls or the Nukta, the Zer Anpen, which has departed at Silas and only leaves her crown. In other words, she slides down for the feet downwards and she leaves her crown on the top. That's her, that belongs to her, that's her DNA there. But the rest of her is down below. Tomid the Eda Yeredis, and it doesn't go down. It never goes down to that from that place. It doesn't go into Bia. Amnam Atesha Spheris Acheros, the other nine spheros, which is Chachma Velamata, the Chachma Bina Das, etc. Ashera Baba, Hine Heim Yordos Velilo El Olam Abria, they go down at nighttime into Olam Abria. That is what we had said. That's what happens there, not no longer there. Now we read, re- really, there is a Shep of Abonos which has different arguments and different kinds of ideas. It might be nice, but I, for the sake of, of my simple learning and enjoying, actually, as I say, I am in, in, inviting you to, to learn with me. Uh, I just want to keep to the simple stuff. Because it could get really, really uh, deep. So I think we're act- we actually have to start is on the Yud base. Here it is, Yud base right here. Let me see on the page. He said, Belayla Shehu Zaman HaChoshech, right? Which is the time of darkness. Can't see. Hu Zaman Shlit is the Chitzayinim. It's the time when the Chitzayinim are all powerful. Kamavucha Bebekumbam Zechera, this has been talked about, but Devecha Ravza. But the chain mistalkim a mochin, so therefore the mochin leave. But a malchus, what happens? Miss Maetis. Now learn, understand this word, Miss Maetis. She limits herself down. Now he's not explaining to us how she limits herself down, but this is what happens. But you read this the Rosh Olam Abria. 
as she goes down to the head top of Olam Abriya, which is the Kaji Kaji and the Heku Kaji Kaji Mabriya. We talked about this previously when we talked about Adni Svasai Tifto, which is another word, another expression, it's a bunch of words, that refers to the Heku Kaji Kaji Mabriya. Here now, Malchus is there. Now, I've always learned that Malchus goes into Bia, she reads she's down to us too, but he means to say that from there, I think it generates outward. That's what my thinking would be right now. Masha Kosova rather mismaetis. Now, when he says that she limits herself, the Yeredis, Heim Shne in Yan and Nifrod, and there's two different things. One is mismaetis, she limits herself. She makes herself from a whole parts of, which was from the Chaz of Lamata of Ziranpin. This, and remember it once again, we're talking about lights. This is a light called Racha, or the Malchus, or the uh, Nukva de Zah. She's this light appears on the back of the light called Zer Anpen, and uh, it it limits itself down. It makes itself into a dot. Mis Ma'etes, and then the Yoredes, he says, are two different things. And it goes down, Him Shnei in Yon, Nifran, Kamashi is Bar, the Kamon. We're going to explain this. She called him. Uh, Koda, the first thing is that she has to do is miss ma'at, miss ma'etis. She makes herself small. She was a part of from the Chazal Lamata. Now she's going to be a dot at the bottom of the Yisod. Bola Matzilu. So now she's in the smallest, smallest place and the Tzilu's almost non-existent. Ba'achakach, but then after that is another action. You read this to Olam Abriya. She actually goes down into Olam Abriya. Now if you listen to the Shir, the, the uh, Chabur Shir, uh, on Kriya Shema, then you also heard uh, the same idea talked about there. We we're talking about the Yichud between Yaakov and Leah, because what happened is, is that all that's left in in, uh, in the Tzilus is the is the Kasser of Rachel. Now I don't say this that learning with Rabbi Memron are different things that I've seen, and there could be different uh, uh, looks at this, but this is the way we're learning it now. So we're going to learn it like this. So let's talk about what goes down in the Bria. What remains in the Tzilus. So now we're explaining it. We're going along. The nine spheres of the Nook, that is from Chochmah all the way down. They go down at night time. Now, that doesn't seem right. Yordi Belilo, uh, I guess, from the time of Alos HaShachar, goes into the time, into Bria. This seems like me, me Alos HaShachar, it doesn't seem odd, Me Alos HaShachar. But someone may be a word missing there. I like the better if I put the word odd in there. So he said, Ad Me Alos HaShachar, Lo Ma Bria. Never goes into Olam so Therefore, it always remains there. So you have nine tenths of Rachel at night time, is in Olam Abriya. And the other, the other one tenth is still in Tzilus. Uh, so he said, Leel Beer Shetefilim Heimamochim Shal Yom Edmo. Now this is a whole concept that I really don't know. And uh, we're going to be getting to tefillin. It sounds really fantastic. He says that the concept of the, the mochin, the tefillin, are really the mochin of yesterday's leftover mochin. Shehistalku v'choizim ve'ez hanachas of tefillin that left, right? Because they're from yesterday. But when you put on the tefillin, they come back. Lifnei ha-tefillin. Now let's say, right, read again. Shehistalku v'choizim they leave v'choizim ve'ez hanachas of tefillin and they come back at the time of hanachas of tefillin. Lifnei uh, hatfilin, uh, hatfilin before you start davening. The beer of Sham should fill him shall yad over there explains the hand filling. Hey, my mochin shall a nook, they're the mochin of the nook that looked from yesterday, he said. But the fill him shall rosh, hey, my mochin de zah, they're the mochin of zah. So now he says, Zach of a nook represented in the filling. For the chain, for the cock, so therefore, manichim osam al yad small, so therefore, we do what? We put them on the left arm. Shaharicham Benuk Nek Sheris Vesmol because that's where the Nuk is really. She's really on the left side of Zeranpin. We always say that the left is Lush and Din, so therefore that's where the Dinim are located, and so that's where she's most comfortable. But the Chayra Ata Kodem Tefila, but here now at before Tefila, 
Haria Nuk Nimsis Bibria. She's not in. Now let's let's just follow this down now. She's not in all of the tzilas. So we said that this was yesterday's. The tefillin represent yesterday's mochi that come back at the time of putting on tefillah. Now is he saying? I haven't read the next part yet. So you see, is he saying? So is it? What, let's let's go on. Let's see what he says. Call them at the fila harech of benuk nim says bebria. She's in bria. Veich ana mamshichem alechol. So then, how are we going to bring to her these mochim, the mochim? So if she's not, in other words, we have new mochim coming today. So we're saying these mochim, the mochim that are represented by the tefillin, which takes place before tefillah, those mochim actually represent yesterday's mochim. The nuk is still nine tenths in Olam Abriya. How are you going to bring the Moch? And the question he asked there was how are you going to bring the Moch into the Nuk? For Ella, Babir Ku Shehem Nim Shachan the Kasser the Nuk, because the the understanding is like this. These Mochin, he said it once again, he said it were yesterday's Mochin. Nim Shachan the Kasser the Nuk, they come to the Kasser the Book Shalom Medis because Ace the Mala Ba Olam Achatzilus, which is still in Olam Achatzilus. So again, nine tenths is down below, but one tenth is still there. So whatever mochim are coming, and I still have a question about what he meant over there by the mochim from yesterday, because I, we're getting closer to learning to film. So let's so let, in the morning shear. So we'll see what happens. So let's go back onto what we said before, where we wrote and we said that she makes herself smaller and then she goes into olamabria harechat to fill and shall yad. He says, within the tefillin of Yad are the mochim of the Mnok the tzilus. He said they were from yesterday's mochim. But the zech of the beer shachakaser the nuk nishaeres but tzilus tamid. So this is what we're explaining here. I'm going to read this part again because I didn't really understand it because this is a lot to see. As if Rav Shik says that you have to get to the end to really understand what he's doing, we're going to do that. So he said, Over the Zech of the Beer, Shachakasu, the Nuk, Nishaeris, but Silas Tomid, it always remains in its Silas. Uh, so he says there's a big chef over here. You can see there's a lot going on on the right side. He says, Beshevah HaGavonah, Shagavonah Sarav, Ki Le'inyan, Alus HaShach, HaBelvad. So really what the uh, Rav is talking about is one particular time. The time when the morning star comes out. In other words, the first time you could start praying. Sha'az Yordin Yordim Tesha Spheris Tachtonis, because that's the time, he says, that the nine Tesha, the Spheris Tachtonis go down. So there was a whole argument over there about that. I'm a little just more confused about it, but I'm going to keep going. Amnam Mashakas of the Eel. So that we come like this. Shahanuk Mismaetis Balila Biyaredis Babriya. So therefore, according to that understanding that the woman that the, the female aspect of Saranpa limits herself down at night time and goes into Olamabriya, Hainalatesha Spheros Atahtonos, these referring to the to the nine lower spheros, Mechokmalamata, Hey Mashen is Maata Baalus Ashakar. So these are the ones that became limited, and, uh, and they become limited. Heim asher nishmaatu. But when do they when do they become mismai? Ba'alas hashachar. That's when it actually happens. V'yarduch of the bria. Now he's saying something different than what I understood. So what I understand that he's saying now is, is that this whole thing only takes a place in that one hour between the morning, the rising of the morning star in astrology. It's called the ascendant or the, the rising sign. From that moment until actually the sun comes up, Netzahomo, is a period where all of this is happening. Let me read it again. Am the Masha of the Eo, Shahanuk Mismaetis Balila, the Yeredis Bibria, and she goes down to Bria. The Hainalatesha Sephiris Atachton, the Mechach, the Mata, Hamishan is Matu. That's what becomes limited down. Baalos Hashach of the Yard of the Bria. This brings another thought to my mind. He says that the only one that does it is not Hainalatesha Sephiris Atachton, the Mechach, the Mata, Hamishan is Matu. 
these are the ones that become limited down. So I thought, and I described it as, that it's like sliding feet free, uh, into a hole, uh, feet first, and everything goes except the very top of the head, which stays right on top of the bottom. But the way that he says this like this, he says, hey, Mashur Nismato, this is what actually limited itself down. In other words, only the nine became smaller. But Allah at that particular one hour period, the yard of the Bria, and at that moment they go into Bria. Masha'in came a Kesser, Nishar Azba Olam Atsilos, it remains in Olam Atsilos. Whether or not it goes down to the bottom of Atsilos is another question, and that's the question that I had. Let me just look back for a second. He says, uh, he says let's, let me read this little part right here. Just We're learning something really big, okay? And I've already made a couple of mistakes, I understand, in terms of trying to darshan it. So, beer... Ashat tefillin heim, what a tefillin? The tefillin represents the mochim shal yom etmol, the mochim that came into Zeranpen yesterday. Shahistalku v'choizrim, and they left, and they come back, be'es ha'nachas a tefillin, lifnecha tefillin, at the time they put on tefillin, and this is before the tefillin. Bir sham shat tefillin shal yad, heim ha'mochim shal anok, and the tefillin shall rosh aim a mochem design, but he's already said that the mochem from Etmo. And I guess his idea was now there was one other place where I saw and I made I thought he made a uh, he wrote it wrong. Let me he, he it was miswritten. I'm not here. It is right here. This is previous to that. Let me read this little piece right here. Now we're going to talk about what actually goes down in debris. It wasn't wrong. Shachar is an hour before Nates, approximately an hour. That's when this whole thing happened. Okay, that's the best I can do right now. Try to straighten out some of these thoughts that I have and get the idea that the Rob is trying to tell me we're really pointing at one time. The time is Al Sashachar. And so that's the sheer. Thank you, Barfly.